Hey everybody, Paul from Rusting Relics here. Uh, thought I'd take a moment and kind of show you my bus and uh, everything that I keep in it to uh, survive a weekend at Pomona Swap Meet or wherever I might be. Um, so here's my bus, 67 Westphalia. Um, I've had this bus for 20 years. Um, I got it out of Russell's Recycling Junkyard years ago thanks to my buddy at Economy who was looking out for me knew I wanted one and so I got it um, here's the ice box right here and generally I don't use this as an ice box I just use it more as a as a dry storage for food um, when I when I have uh, things that I need to keep cold I always just use my regular Coleman uh, ice chest because that way I can load it full of ice everything all my drinks are ice cold and then when it's really hot it's nice to have that that melted ice uh, ice water and I can dip uh, a washcloth in it and uh, take a little bath and get myself refreshed um, also I have uh, the Westphalia comes with a, a water spigot and a water tank uh, I never use it I've got it all hooked up, but I've never really been able to get it to work quite right. So instead of, of that, I just bring water with me. I bring, I fill up the uh, Coleman jug and just use that, you know, when I need water to make coffee or, or wash up or whatever. Um, plenty of storage in a Westphalia. You know, you got some area behind the seat here. I keep my, uh, my Uggs, my Ugg boots back here. You know, if it gets too cold or something, and I also keep uh, a couple of fire extinguishers handy. You never know if you're going to need them. Fortunately, I never have. Uh, got this little cabinet here, which uh, I put a lock on it. You know, and it's big enough to keep uh, your valuables in. You know, your camera or your wallet cell phone whatever valuables you might want to keep locked up if, if you don't want to carry them with you and you're away from your bus you know I mean it's not it's not burglar proof that's for sure but you know at least it would slow a guy down if he uh, was trying to get you trying to get your stuff um, under the bench seat the front bench I keep my sleeping bag and my pillow and uh, back behind there I've got a heater buddy a mr. heater which runs on propane. It's really a nice thing to have when it's cold out. Also, I have a tub down there with uh, below that pillow that I keep all my um, all my cutlery and and uh, you know plates and bowls and coffee mugs and stuff. And then here is the table that you know goes up if you want to sit and eat inside. I usually uh, am outside when I'm eating and stuff, just hanging out. Uh, of course, there's the pop top, and you've got some storage down below the the bed, the back seat which folds into a bed. Um, a lot of nice storage area in there. I keep another heater, a little propane heater there. I've got my propane stove, um, coffee pot, uh, pots, pans, paper plates, uh, propane, stuff like that stuff like that that you need whoops and then in the back here I always keep a, a toolbox with me that has all the stuff I might need if I break down at least enough stuff to get me get me back on the road again even if it's a temporary fix but always an old VW bus you always want to keep tools with you it's always a good idea back here in this cabinet I keep all my uh, automotive stuff extra spark plugs uh, gaskets oil gear oil you know stuff like that fan belt just you know the, the stuff that typically breaks luckily again I've never had to um, I've never had to use anything but it's always nice to have um, back in this cabinet, 
I keep extra batteries and duct tape and uh, cleaning supplies, jumper cables, more propane uh, fans for when it's hot. You can I've got some battery operated fans which uh, help keep the air circulating in here so you can sleep comfortably or whatever. And up top in what's known as the headache ca uh, cabinet because you always bang your head on it. No matter how long you've had a bus, you'll always bang your head on the thing. Um, I've got rain gear in case we get a monsoon and big heavy glove, big heavy gloves. Uh, you know, a beanie if it's cold, long underwear. You know, a first aid kit, binoculars, um, manuals. Got manuals back here. Uh, in case something goes wrong with the bus and I need a little help, I can read up on how to fix it. Uh, fix whatever's wrong. Um, there's another storage area up here. I keep a BB gun just so we can plink beer cans if, uh, if we're getting bored or something, have a little fun with a BB gun. And this is a child's cot here that goes uh, across the front area to make a sleeping area for a, a kid. I really never use it, but it's nice to have. I added a little to uh, paper towel uh, dispenser there. Nice to have. Um, also, uh, above the uh, above the ice box, there's a a drawer, and I just keep you know hand sanitizer and uh, you know a knife, lighters, batteries, Kleenex. Uh, floss, you know, all that kind of stuff, cards in case we want to, in case we want to play, flashlights, bottle openers, all that kind of stuff, so prepared with that, and then on the side closet, there's a lot of room for storage here, um, I keep my books for keeping records of what I sell, and it has my seller's permit there in case... I ever get questioned selling. Um, I keep a dustpan and a, a little broom. I've got a Coleman lantern back there that runs on the white gas. Uh, this is my DVD player so I can keep myself entertained. Uh, this is nice to have. This is a, a solid oak axe handle. Um, you never know when you might need that. So it's good to have part of being prepared. Um, here's a radio and a lamp. It's a radio and a lantern, battery operated uh, by Coleman. Uh, some entertainment. And down in the bottom, I added this shelf here because um, this closet is actually for hanging clothes up, but I really never hung any clothes up and everything was just stacked up here, so I built this uh, this shelf to kind of separate stuff so I didn't have to dig so deep. Then here I keep an extra jacket and you know zip ties and tight uh, bungee cords, um, <laughs> ass gaskets just in case if I got to use the porta potties and they don't have them or whatever I got what I need. I also keep toilet paper in here. Um, bags for selling stuff. Like I said, towels, rags uh, for taking a little bath or cleaning something if I bought it. You know, I've got the cleaning stuff. I can clean it up and resell it right then and there. A nice big mag flashlight for the early morning uh, early morning hunt. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, also, there's the whatnot cabinet, which mine is getting worse for wear it takes a beating but um, you know they're getting hard to find most buses don't even have them but I keep my salt and pepper and you know some uh, hot chocolate and, and soups and coffee some more coffee cups insect repellent that's always nice especially in the summertime when the when the flies are there uh, at the stables by the stables at Pomona and sunscreen gloves work gloves extra plastic uh, silverware there, more silverware, some soups and 
and stuff, beer, beer uh, holders. Um, this is a little flask, <laughs> my Hot Rod Johnny flask, you know, just in case I need something to keep me warm on a cold winter's night. Uh, you know, Pam cooking spray. I've got all the all the stuff with a to to cook, you know, to make eggs or or do whatever I want to do for breakfast or or anything. But uh, you know, up in here, this little cabinet, I keep small bungees and soap and stuff like that. And then, of course, I've got the the roof rack. So if I buy something too big or my my buy too much stuff and my bus is full. Um, and I can I can haul some stuff away. Also, you see up there on the wall, I've got a I've got a fishing pole. Not that I do a lot of fishing, but um, sometimes when if we get bored out at Pomona or something, I might uh, tape a, a dollar bill on that thing and cast out into the aisle, and then watch people reach for that dollar bill and and uh, reel it in. It's always a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's uh. The tour of my my bus and and how I keep everything keep everything uh, that I need uh, for for a long Pomona swap meet weekend, which we got one coming up in a couple of weeks. Can't wait! Um, it's always a lot of fun. If you if you haven't been or haven't been in a while, come on out. It's it's a blast. So anyway, thanks for uh, hanging with me for a minute, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.